Gee, it looks like they managed to stack up these fishing rods in this place. All for that section of the Mystic Forest. Hey everybody, this is me, Mickey Mouse here, and I'm Piglet here, and we are back for the Maxi Toys. And welcome back to more as play of Sonic Adventure DX or Sonic Adventure for the sake of Dreamcast, Nintendo GameCube, Xbox Live Arcade, PC, and um, also Steam and PlayStation Network. So yeah, last time that we actually did manage to tackle through those two stages, Red Mountain and also Lost World. And we managed to beat the likes out of um, Kiosk 4 for a third time in a row for this particular game. And today for this episode, we're about to be exploring the egg carrier. While actually going there is the fact that we need to actually enter to this peculiar section that um, I'm guessing that the, what happens was so is that I'm pretty sure that E102 Gamma is going to be walking onto that particular segment, so... But anyways though, because after all that we actually did manage to restore almost like, um, let's just say, 80% um, of the pieces of the Master Emerald, because obviously we actually did collect 12 of those pieces so far, so... We only got three last three pieces remaining, so let's go ahead and jump towards it. Just what I thought. Time to make a house call. Ah, so that's how the um the secret air, um the air carrier's secret place to actually take off from. Now we'll see who's so easily tricked. I can sense the emeralds are here somewhere. And most like how it does in Sonic and Tails version of this peculiar place, that uh, we assumably we actually go ahead and just. Of course, as you expect it, as soon as you think you're about to progress, but um, somehow the air carrier is once again changing shape. Ah, this thing's always changing. Indeed, it always keeps on changing, especially when we get into the other characters later, or even previously as a result for Sonic and Tails though. But anyways though, so we can't actually go down there, because instead, we have to go into this peculiar room to actually see... Oh, I did not notice that the air carrier actually has a swimming pool. Well, gradually though, unfortunately though, it doesn't actually have some water, so... Nonetheless though, it does have some ring um, item capsules, plus an emblem. And I think that's all there is to say about this peculiar um, sequence right here for the swimming pool and stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump in to the mo. I sense the Master Emerald. It can't be far from here. But even then, uh, that, um, that's enough for the other swimming pool fun. But basically, what we can do is to go onto in this pe peculiar pavement, or this part of this um, particular stuff, and basically that we can actually enter the store and we actually ended up in Sky Deck final stage for Knuckles, in this case stage number 5. Because basically that Knuckles has the exact same stage amount as it does in the Tails, so... But, but I'm pretty sure that we actually ended up in this pretty disorientating version of um, Sky Deck at level, so... Basically the entire premise of this level's gimmick is the fact that, as you can tell, from the beginning of part of this level is to actually constantly be using the, um... The direction switch, or in this case, this little uh, joystick. But basically, every time when you actually hold down the beat button or the action button, if you will, that um, you can actually use the control stick to actually just uh, change those specific gravity uh, directions. Because of that, though, that they were actually just trying to uh, every once in a while, though, if you actually try to change those into the specific directions, that way it will actually just uh, try to actually. Uh, um, open up these doors every once in a while to see if there's anything uh, else to be popping up, like these some random trash, going through like so some occasional hidden enemies, like for instance, you're gonna have to use that a lot, honestly, because obviously if you actually try to find those specific pieces of the Master Emerald that uh, how this usually contains, 
Um, sometimes, though, you're going to have to use the joystick a lot in this level. And as a result, though, that it might be a little bit too disor distracting or disorientating at times, even when it comes to controlling your character and stuff. And also, I found out that um, sometimes it always happens to me. But sometimes, if I was going to be um, holding on to this little joystick, sometimes it doesn't seem to work. But I'm pretty sure it's mainly due to the fact that uh, it's more likely a death perception for uh, trying to actually just hang on to the joystick and stuff. But even then, though, it happens to me a lot of cases, though. And sometimes you ended up um, accidentally just um, choose the wrong direction of this peculiar joystick because as a result, you probably ended up well able to get your chance to actually just to get 100% guarantee for uh, just trying to actually get yourself the right direction of the joystick mechanic. So, and as a result though, that the controls might be a little bit too uh, weird at that point. Uh, the final piece is going to be over much more slow, so I probably should steer that, but the far left, although not the far left, but the one on the right, I guess it would be probably right. Now we don't want to activate you, but even then though, we probably know where the final piece is going to be, so... And one thing we have not sort of mentioned it for a long period of time is the fact that um, even though it's only exclusive to the PAL version of the game, I'm pretty sure that we haven't sort of mentioned this, or we have mentioned this earlier. But I'm pretty sure though that, that um, if you probably couldn't tell already, that this is actually in 60 Hz mode. And basically, that originally in the PAL version of Sonic Adventure DX on the UK version of the game. Although, we'll explain more on this peculiar uh, Memphis as soon, as soon as we actually finish Knuckles' story first. But even then, though, that's how we can actually believe so. So, there we go. The final three pieces of the Master Emerald has finally com completely um, collected. Sorry for the lack of uh, the Malfour, as far as I can tell. The last missing piece. All right. Now to restore the Master Emerald. Huh? What in the world is up with that cutscene over there? As you can tell, that Knuckles barely moves on that. Oh, oh no, not again. What is the meaning of this? So now this is actually the third time we're actually going to be transported to this place, and just like in Sonic's version of it, we ended up in this hellish um, fire burning from the Emerald Shrine, so let's go ahead and investigate towards it. Hey, what happened here? I couldn't stop them. They came, and, and my father... I had no idea how bad this would turn out. I'm shocked. Look, it's the emerald. Wait. Oh, we were only trying to help you, Carl. Well, usually before it's too late, though. Is this a dream? It's more like a nightmare. So yeah, we now managed to recover all the, um, well, pieces of the Master Emeralds being collected, and now it's Knuckles to actually just about to go back into Mystic um, Ruins, or in this case, an Angel Island, if you will. And basically, we can now actually completely restore the Master Emerald after all the beginning parts of this peculiar story. Um, what happens was though is that Chaos Zero actually managed to shatter the Master Emerald itself, which is pretty much a devastating thing, I have to say though. But anyways though, so now let's just go ahead and get at the, get the heck out of here. And basically now we can actually get the heck out of here, basically. I finally found all of the missing emerald pieces, but I still can't figure out that creepy monster. Huh? What's that? Hmm, what's up with this flashy image right there? Although we'll just have to investigate on this peculiar pavement. Well, as you can tell, there's Sonic showing up, and also um, Eggman's Dawn over there, so... Yeah, let's just go ahead and check with these two and see what they're up to. Not again! 
Can't be. I guess he didn't get enough the first time. You can't stop me from restoring the Master Emerald. How in God's name did that Chaos Six manage to survive? Out of all in this case, did manage to come back to life after when Sonic managed to defeat him. So basically, Chaos 6 for um, boss is pretty much exactly similar to how it does it from Sonic's version, except the fact there's quite a noticeable difference between um, Sonic and Knuckles' fights for Chaos 6. First things first though, you probably notice these peculiar um, platforms over there. If you manage to toss these little um, black smoky stuff over there, that can actually hurt you, so you're gonna have to be very careful with this. Secondly, there's no Eggman involved, just to actually showing that, that he constantly saying like, Aha! Every time when um, he actually managed to um, toss these little bombs and stuff. So, he's, the, the entire boss strategy is pretty similar, because obviously all you have to do in this fight is basically just uh, toss the bombs at, um, or in this case, uh, toss the ice bomb right at Chaos 6. So just in case, if, if that is the fact that um, how um, he managed to try to attack him. So, there's also another trick that you can actually perform to actually just to deal with the devastation, or in this case, a double the damage from Chaos 6. And basically, all you do is get out to use your, you know, the fighting gloves that we actually obtain. Basically, what you do is pretty obvious. We get out to like obviously just hold down the action button, and then just obviously, uh, we got swollen by completely out of nowhere. But anyway, though, so. Anyway, so, um, yeah, if you're trying to hold down the action button, if you're actually trying to do a devastating, um, fighting gloves attack, that way you'll do the double the damage. So, there we go. That concludes Chaos 6, and I'm pretty sure that will, um, wrap things up for Knuckles' story, basically. So, yeah, pretty sure, though, just like in Tails' story, but, um, I digress, though. So, how come Knuckles get on the, um, the floating in mid -air? Probably due to the fact that fighting gloves we actually used... Yeah, you're finished. What's left now is to return the Master Emerald safely to my island. You know what I found is really odd, is that much like how it does in Tales of Story, it shows the in-game models of um, perspective characters after when every time when they uh, manage to escape by explosions and stuff. So anyway though. been restored.
Now the ancient island is now going to go back into the skies. Yep. I'll probably be on this floating island forever. Guarding the Master Emerald again. I may not know the whole story behind this. But perhaps it's better that way. I'm at peace once more. And that was it, basically, for the entire ending of uh, Knuckles' story. So, um, yeah, the Knuckles' theme of this peculiar uh, game is actually known as um, Unknown From Me E. So, but even then, though, I found it's a kind of a cool um, theme music. But even then, though, it's more likely a rap first. But anyway, though, so basically, um, yeah, let's talk about the overall of uh, Knuckles' gameplay style for this game. I found this to be kind of a good um, mechanic in Fury, but even then, though, it's not as, like, um, as frantic or epic as it does it for Sonic and Tails' gameplay style, but I still find that Knuckles' um, movements is actually quite as acrobatic as it does for the 2D era. Or in this case, in the 2D games. Well, the only noticeable addition for Knuckles' moves and abilities and stuff is obviously a punching attacks and stuff like that. And that was before when Sonic Adventure 2 did manage to do that as well. But even then, though, well, actually, before it's pretty simple. It's gonna have to use the B button, that's all there is to know. So, yeah, that's all there is to know, basically. So, um, yeah, um, and I found that um, the only gripe I have with um, Knuckles' story, as far as the actual playthrough of Knuckles' story, is the Sky Deck level can be slightly disorientating at times. And sometimes, though, that, um, well, obviously, I found out that um, some, sometimes the Master Emerald radar can be slightly a little bit misleading sometimes. Well, until before when Sonic Adventure 2 came around, they managed to dish out the, uh, the, um, you know, the, the Master Emerald meter and stuff like that. Or in this case, the radar, if you will. But anyway, though, so, yeah, let's talk about more some stuff that we haven't mentioned throughout this Let's Play, is that, uh, although it's only exclusive to the PAL version, like we're actually discussing until now, that um, the European version of Sonic Adventures uh, 1, and specifically the DX version of the game, which are the Dreamcast version and the GameCube version, most likely, um, you probably knows there's actually two different options that you can actually play for this game, especially for these two versions. They are the 60Hz mode, and even a 50 hertz mode, and I think the only difference is between the two um, versions of these hertz is that I managed to realize it on the on the GameCube version, and I don't know on the Dreamcast version, but what happens was though is that these cutscenes that can be altered slightly from um, different um, uh, movement speed. But even then, though, that's the only uh, things I must confess. Like the 50 hertz mode can be run like really really fast even for a faster pace and then if you actually set this on 60 hertz mode it actually goes on to standard uh, medium uh, steady pace just like how it does it in, in a North American copy of Sonic Adventure well for the DX version at least so there's one thing we need to come and buy from but anyway though so I guess there's um, three stories down and then we only got halfway done with um, the story and um, the character stories campaign so but even then, though, the next three, which are going to be Amy Rose, E102 Gamma, and Big the Hat. The reason why that Piglet managed to realize to say that is because we'll explain more on that as soon as we actually get into this. Ugh, that purple cat. Anyway, though, so I guess that was about it, basically, when it comes to this video and stuff like that. So, um,. Hope you guys do enjoy for this peculiar um, Knuckles story run through for Sonic Adventure DX, and um, we'll decide to give you an update. We probably won't go come back into this until for the time soon, until when it gets to next month or even March, because obviously new Let's Plays will be up until next month. Because even then, though, this will actually going to be a continuation of this Let's Play until it's going to be delayed until either a month or two months ahead. So let's go out to point this out right now because. 
tune in next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure DX as the fact that we're actually going to be moving on into the next character story, and that was the form of Amy Rose. Not the, not Big the Cat, because we'll save him up for late, uh, for last. And then uh, he wanted to gamma after Amy's story. So, yeah, Amy's story is going to be up next. So, yeah, so join us next time for that. This is me, Piglet, and Mickey Mouse here from the Maxi Toys. And until, guys, until you see you guys, until later on for this last place. So see you guys then. Later, fellas. See you guys later.